There are a couple ways you can upload your database file to the SharePoint server. One way is to log into SharePoint, and then if you're on the home page here, come down below and click on Add Document. It'll add it to your Share Documents folder here, which is also available as a link over in the navigation pane. If you don't want to add it to it, go ahead and click on another link, and it will load it up to that folder, or it'll have an Add Document link in that folder. In any case, I'm going to come down here and click on Add Document opens up a window and it says, okay, where's this file located on your desktop or your computer? Mine's in the exercises folder on my desktop, so I can go ahead and click Browse. Come over here in the navigation pane, navigate to the desktop, scroll down to find my exercises folder, double click, and then go ahead and choose the database by double clicking on it. It's got the address pointing to that file, so when I click OK, it'll take that file and upload it to the SharePoint site. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. The other way to do it, if you've got a lot of databases that you want to upload over a period of time, like maybe a day or a week, or in any case, you just don't want to keep logging into SharePoint here. Let me go ahead and close out. You can upload it from the database by clicking on File, going down to Save and Publish, and then coming over here and selecting SharePoint. Now notice the text below where it says, it'll share the database by saving it to a document management server. I would add folder because when you double click on it, it wants to find a folder that we haven't created yet that's going to be linked or tied to our SharePoint site that whatever I put in that folder will automatically upload to the SharePoint site. And what do I want to put or save into that folder? Well, it's my SharePoint database. But the folder hasn't been created yet, so I've got to do that. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. Come down here, click on the Start button, and we're going to create this folder. Click on Computer, and let me maximize it here. Up on the command bar, click on Map Network Drive. And then down below, where it says connect to a website that you can use to store your documents and pictures, click on that link. Now the wizard starts up and it says it can either help you sign up for a service or if you already have one, like we do, a SharePoint site, we can create a shortcut to it for you. Let's go ahead and click Next. That's the one that we want. And it says, where do you want to create this network location? It only gives us one choice here. And so, well, by default, let's just go ahead and click Next. And then it says, okay, give us the uh, address to your SharePoint site. Go ahead and type it in, and again, if you don't have it, you want to get it from your IT person, then click Next, wait for it to connect, and then, of course, go ahead and type in your username and password, and check, remember my credentials, click OK. Now that it hooked up, it says go ahead and type in a name for the shortcut. I like the URL, I mean, it's pretty descriptive, it's the SharePoint site for K. Kershaw, for my business here. You can type in whatever you'd like, I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then it says, OK, a shortcut for this location will appear in the computer folder. And I'm in the computer folder, so when I click Finish, it'll appear in there. And also, it'll open up this network location when I click Finish. Click Finish opens up the network location. It lists all the folders that I can save this uh, database into that's on my SharePoint site. And then let me close out of that and click Cancel. It's also in my computer folder here. Double click on that and it shows all the folders there as well. I'm going to go ahead and close out. Now that we have that folder created, I can come up here, click on File again, go down to Save and Publish, come over here, double click on SharePoint, and if you don't see it, then you want to hover over Microsoft Access till you see that little triangle. Click it to point it down so we can see the network shortcuts, select the folder, and then over to the right, there it is. The shortcut, you see that little black arrow pointing up, it says it's a shortcut to the SharePoint site. Then when I double click on it, wow, Love typing in all these passwords here. Remember my credentials, click OK. And it opens up and it says, OK, here's the site content. Go ahead and select a folder that you would like to dump it into. And it says to double click to open up that location, double click. And then just go ahead and click Save. Now, for me, when I click Save, the collaboration between Access and my SharePoint server, it doesn't like it. It won't allow me to do it. It says, uh, check the URL or your password. But the funny thing is, is that if I open up my SharePoint site and I have it open simultaneously while I'm in the database and trying to save something to it, it'll save it. Well, let me show you. Go ahead and click Save. It doesn't like it. Fine. Click OK. And then after I do that, it's now tied, this database here, where I can just go ahead and make changes and then save it to the SharePoint site if I'd like. Let me go open up Internet Explorer here. Go to the SharePoint site, type in my password. Remember, click okie dokie. Okay, I'm here, right? I'm logged in. Now, when I go back to my database and I try to save it, which I can do it from here or click on File, go down to Save and Publish and double click on SharePoint, and then Select Network, and then double click on the shortcut. 
Of course, we're password happy. Then double click on shared documents and then click save. Oh, it's happy. You see what I'm saying? So I've got my website open, logged into it, and then when I want to be able to publish it from my database here, it's okay with that. But if I close out of the uh, SharePoint site and I try to publish it from my database, it's just not connecting. It doesn't like it. So how do I know it's published there? Well, I can click on File again, or click on File, come back, and click on Save to SharePoint, and it's sitting right there. Before, it was just Table Analyzer. Click Cancel. I go ahead and maximize this page here. Now I need to refresh it so I can hit F5 on the keyboard and there it is, SharePoint. Cool. So I got my SharePoint database. I can go ahead and click on it and it says do you want to go ahead and view it read only or edit this. Let me go ahead and right click and close out of my database there and select edit. Click OK. Of course I need to log in again. Click OK and then wait for it and then it'll go ahead and ask me to save a local copy if I'd like so that's how we can go ahead and export it from SharePoint as a local copy let's say on the desktop and click save and then of course make any changes that I want and when I'm finished click save to SharePoint site thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video